with Jonathan Davis. Does anybody know who Jonathan Davis is? Lead singer of Corn. Mm -hmm. Sat right here in this chair and played a hand of Go Fish with Spirits. And I think Mo is here. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a couple other people. Mm -hmm. So there's that. Oh, and also another trigger object. This actually connects via Bluetooth. It can play with records, but um, so if you want to play some music from that from that time period, from the 1930s, 1960s, that can also draw up some of the activity in the room as well. All right, we're gonna head across the hall here. Originally this room before we turned this into a makeshift bedroom, so when people come here to do private investigations, if they get a little tired, you can choose to crash on the beds if you so choose to. Um, knowing this is the most active floor, like Nick, our fearless leader at OWPS, uh, they slept up here a number of times, a couple of times here in this far bedroom, and uh, yeah, one of the nights they didn't sleep too well. I saw that, that door in there move about 16 inches open and it's like, all right, it's gonna be that kind of night. So this originally would have been a billiards room. Obviously billiards tables are very expensive. So until we get one, we've turned this into a makeshift bedroom. But since we have turned it into a bedroom, we do have a spirit in here by the woman of the name of Gail. Um, Gail is somewhat active. Um, just everyone, honestly, it kind of depends on the, the person that they're, she's trying to connect with. I don't think I've really connected with her much. I've seen the REM pod go off a couple of times, but maybe if there is a female figure in here, that could be a different story. Um, we also have had someone take a picture. I think they're probably over standing here by this door and took a picture into one of these two window seals and had a full apparition of a woman laid in a white dress, black hair. I believe that could have been Gail, could have been somebody else. Um, but if you were to take a picture there, I think she was pretty short. If I were to take a picture, I'd probably get from my chest up. She got a full-blown apparition here in this window, kind of looking through. So, so while we're doing this tour, and then throughout the night, you guys can take as many photos and videos as you guys want, because you'll never know what you'll be able to capture. Going down here, and while we're walking into this last room here, this chair here to my right is the man of the house, so Mr. Robert Bell. So if you're to put a red pod right there right now, most likely it's going to go off. He sits here for two reasons. For one reason, he can hear all the conversations from the first and second floor, including us as well as paying every uh, attention to everything that's going on in this room, which would have been the servant's bedroom. I always get a headache in this room. <laughs> Never fails. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, hey, you're the first one in here. I'm like, well, she walks out real quick. Yeah, I what I, happens. I, this, is a, this is a lot for me, so. <laughs> so with her just saying this, this room is a lot for her, um, this actually happens to be one of the most active rooms of the entire house. Mm -hmm. We probably have about eight to ten spirits in here alone. Um, so if you have kind of like those medium capabilities, as Gabby does over here, she can sense those things rather quickly. Um, so she kind of gets some headaches here and there. So there's just a lot going on in here at the same time. So if you see your step out real quick, that's the reason why. Just know it's not you, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're not telling us something. And someone else. Spirits right. here will quickly call you out. Um, so yes, yeah, so this will have been a servant's bedroom. About four, uh, four servants here at a time, a couple of beds, obviously probably not this large. Um, there's probably, I think out of those eight to ten spirits, a handful of them, we believe, are German speaking. And I think we've also got one that was Russian as well. So does anybody in here know German? Anybody know Russian? Spanish? 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 Cool. All right, so we do also have a woman, we believe her name is Maria. Mm -hmm. um, she was actually a mistress to Mr. Bell. Uh, so if you guys know Spanish and you guys do some EVPs tonight, uh, you might get, be able to pick up on something. 
For those of us that don't know Spanish or any other language, thank God we have smartphones, right? <laughs> you guys can quickly get on here and translate to any language that you choose to. Back here, this is our freight elevator. So this is not original to the house. This was installed by the funeral home back in 1927. So this is how they transfer all the bodies and the caskets to the different floors. So for the caskets, they'd roll the caskets through. They'd actually put a platform down here so they can roll them into the rooms. The reason why the stairs are like this is because this is actually what separated the servant's headquarters. Mm -hmm. uh, we also believe there is a spirit um, of a young girl here named Clara Pfeiffer. So everybody know where the Pfeiffer house is? Right yeah. next door over here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we do have some of the spirits that come from over there, one in particular, Claire Pfeiffer. She's been seen as far back as the funeral home days. So funeral directors have known of her, as well as guests coming in here to pre-plan a funeral. Like, hey, who's this girl with some pigtails? She's in a blue and white checkered skirt, just kind of like roaming through the halls. Some people are like, I have no idea what you're talking about, because obviously not everybody believes in the paranormal. And uh, so she's been seen here a few times, and I believe, believe she kind of hangs out in that closet over there. I don't know what is with us, with them in closets up here, but <laughs> to each their own. All right, we're gonna move to the second floor now. They're one of my favorite rooms. 